what equal installment of annual payment will discharge a debt which is due as rupees 848 at the end of 4 years at 4% per annum simple interest so this is again a problem of simple interest and uh, emi so let's say in this case uh, the installment is equals to 100 rupees okay so we are assuming the installment uh, installment is of 100 rupees so 100 rupees is being paid for 4 years okay so 4 into 100 plus the interest component of on this 100 rupees will be 100 into for 4 years uh, sorry rate of interest is 4% and 10 uh, year will be 6 years by 100 so this is 424 okay so if my installment is 100 rupees my debt is coming as 424 now uh, this is the only hidden part here how i wrote 6 years so i have also explained this concept in my previous videos so here let's say the installments are being paid for 4 years so if you divide it 1 2 3 4 4 4 and every time the guy is paying 100 rupees every year as the installment so when the guy is paying fourth installment it was due for first 3 years right so interest should be charged on this amount for 3 years because it was unpaid for 3 years so interest component on this 100 rupees will be for 3 years when the guy is paying third installment it was due for first 2 years so interest on this 100 rupees will be charged for 2 years similarly here it will be charged for 1 year and here it will be zero so in total if you see on every 100 rupees it was charged for one year two year and three years so if you sum up all this we get the six okay and uh, in exam you don't have to do this uh, whatever is the number of year or number of months given we can simply do n into n minus sorry n plus 1 by 2 which is sum of natural numbers so here uh, because the year is 4 our last term is 3 so if we do 3 into 4 by 2 we get the number okay that we can use here so no matter what is given and uh, if you see even because uh, in these type of problem we will always assume that installment is of 100 rupees so you can directly get this number of years or number of months whatever is given in the question multiplied by rate of interest and here is the number of years again so you can directly get this number no need to get uh, do this calculation this entire calculation okay so i assume installment is 100 rupees 10 year was 4 years i did this 6 6 into 4 24 and it's 424 we can directly write 424 okay now we need to see uh, if my debt is 424 okay so for for when my debt was 424 my installment was coming as 100 right so in this problem if my debt is 848 so when debt becomes 848 what will be my installments so it's 100 by 424 into 848 which is 200 so installment will be 200 rupees per year in this case right so you just need to get this number and to get this number you only need this and then it is straight forward okay if you have any doubts or questions you can post in comments and guys if you are preparing for uh, these competitive exams please subscribe to the channel to uh, get updated on latest questions post thank you